he put Huddersfield in front with that goal in the first half. He can't be matched this. And what a way to start your career. Into the second half now. Now for that, keep your eye on number 10 again. Done. Powering forward. And you'll see him bundled over by Noel Blake there. And the referee decided that was a penalty. The end of the chances are there. 90 minutes on the watch here. And through by Dunn, who had quite a match, didn't he? But a good stop from Paul Tomlinson in that Bradford goal. And that's the way it finished. Bradford City nil, Huddersfield two. Charlton to Roberts. Oh, one almost there. Oh, and a mistake. Oh, what a terrible mistake. And there's Ian Gunn. Let us be a turn three. Halifax down hill. So there we are on the 66 minute. And just when I was saying that, uh, about to say that Halifax are going to clear the ball, that the move had broken down. Right with a good header, finding Dunn. O'Regan to Dunn. Robinson, Roberts, well, he found Dunn. Oh, what a goal by Dunn! But just when it looked as if Robinson, in fact, was a man who to be the recipient of that, the cup goal specialist Ian Dunn makes it Huddersfield Town 2. Just give the ball away, hope it up failed. Uh, that's paid off with uh, Parsley having the rule. Barnett. Dunn, Roberts, Dunn, and it's gone, Ian Dunn has scored, Huddersfield Town 2, Gillingham nil. so a good run by Parsley on the right, <coughs> the ball coming back, and there was Ian Dunn, he doesn't miss those, so 55 minutes gone, Ian Dunn, <coughs> excuse me, gets... Manura just hoofing that one up field. It's over Green's head. Will it fall for Dunn? Oh, Dunn gets there. There's not much support at the moment. Oh, but superb play by Dunn. Oh, what a good effort by Dunn. Ian Ross to play his trump card. On came substitute Ian Dunn immediately. And when Paul Raven boobed in defence, Dunn was soon making it look like an inspired switch. Dunn, whose heroics earned Huddersfield an FA Cup victory here two months ago, set up a priceless goal and a very rare headed one for Gary Barnett. We're also in the playoffs just ten months ago. They're getting a few breaks now as well. Ian Dunn brought down with no particular place to go. Penalty. Amura, remember, hadn't scored all season in the league until last Saturday. Now from Dunn's cross, his third in three games. It looks like being such a great escape, you half expect to find Steve McQueen in the Huddersfield forward line. In fact, it was Ian Dunn who planted the ball in the Stoke net, and it stayed planted. That came after 18 minutes, and Town spent most of the... Well, the best of balls from Steen, and Charlton picks it up, now Barnett. Only 2-2, to a Matt? This is Dunn. And it's gone in! It's stayed in! Four at home, but there's no stopping him away. Three at the weekend at Rotherham, and Ian Dunn hit the first of another three at Scarborough. 
Dunn's got a happy knack of scoring in cup competitions and after a brief break for a floodlight failure, he was back with another. Now you might think Huddersfield were wasting their time bothering to go to Highbury to take on an Arsenal team that had beaten them 5-0 at Leeds Road. But Ian Dunn stuck out a boot and scored his usual cup goal and Huddersfield were responding to Neil Warnock's call for them to shake. Harkness gets it across, but a good save by Beasley. Roberts also on, almost gets there, but uh, on, no danger of the doctors to go. In fact, it's uh, well, Australia with an awful ball. Robinson to Dunn. Change of direction. Harkness takes it up. Dunn. Town in the lead, the best of his saves, this one from Ian Dunn. Goal-scoring hero at Stockport in midweek had seven goals to his name before yesterday, all but one in cup ties. So one in the league was a rare event. And it was it was quite a goal. We've actually slowed down the end of it because it was like a game of bagatelle in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was uh, Andrew Boot's head. It's cleared off the line there. Phil Robertson follows it in, and Ian Dunn puts the ball in. But the ref played advantage there because uh, he could have given a penalty and sent the chap off. But he played an excellent advantage and uh, Ian Dunn followed in and scored. Specialises in cup goals, Ian Dunn. The ten men Huddersfield equalised five minutes from time through Ian Dunn, town now in touching distance of safety. we just got to keep winning. A glut of goals at the Abbey Stadium where Ian Dunn equalised for Huddersfield. And it's left, Ian Dunn stormed through for the equaliser. And as the seconds ticked away, it was done again, showing admirable skill and composure, rounding off the Terriers campaign in real style. Sub Ian Dunn, though, has a knack of getting important goals, and his first of the season clinched a deserved win. Peterborough to earn a point, thanks largely to the homekeeper Scott Cooksey and town striker Ian Dunn. He got both Terriers goals, the second following Simon Baldry's shot amongst the easiest of his career. Your call. Go down. Cambridge hadn't won away, and they still haven't. Ian Dunn's cross brought a push by Danny O'Shea on Ronnie Jepson. Ian Dunn's arrival as substitute had helped Huddersfield's cause. And when the ball twice came back from Ronnie Jepson, it was Dunn who was there to put Huddersfield in front. Five minutes later, Booth streaked down the right. Jepson was waiting for his seventh goal of the season. Huddersfield three, Cambridge one. There was no goal avalanche for town, but just one proved enough on the day. Ian Dunn, Chris Billy's neat dummy. The Brentford. How Huddersfield Town created history in the same competition last night, but Tim Singleton starts his review of the action with Sheffield Wednesday's exit from the Coca-Cola Cup at Arsenal. 
And so to that little bit of history at the McAlpine Stadium where Huddersfield Town became the first club in English football to win a cup tie in an extra time sudden death playoff. The victims were Lincoln City, the final score 3-2. And the man who will feature in the quiz books, goal scorer Ian Dunn. And took them to the Orient, the one in the east end of London, and it proved a happy journey. Andy Booth helped on Steve Francis's clearance. Ronnie Jepson poked the ball onto Ian Dunn. He was calm as you like. The 66th minute, clickety click. In the 76th minute, clickety click again. This time, Dunn the sorcerer. Booth the supplier, and Paul Reed the winner of the penalty. Who laid on the winning goal? So a double substitution, one by each side. Ian Dunn comes on for Huddersfield. Marcus Browning will be the new man for Rovers. Browning replaces Taylor. Marcus Browning, a Bristol-born lad. Browning with just a couple of goals to his name this season gets his chance here and Ian Dunn likewise is for Huddersfield Town in place of Gary Crosby and Dunn immediately goes over to take up the same position that Crosby has been filling and it is a tactical switch we are told and Nick on the touchline here straight away in possession is Dunn and he floats one across here, Booth's in, Jepson's there, Billy's in! The goal for his Billy Huddersfield Town! Thunderous applause around Wembley! Substitution because Ian Dunn played his part in it. Huddersfield regained the lead. And it's Chris Billy. Well, you wouldn't think he was showing any emotion. And now I'm sure he'll tell them to concentrate and don't throw it away again. The most famous goal of Chris Billy's life. He's only got one in the league all season against Crewe. He got one in the playoffs against Brentford. What about this? Booth, Billy in the net, Huddersfield in front again. And it was done. The substitute had been on less than 60 seconds who played the cross. It was beyond Jepson. It wasn't beyond Chris Billy though. What a wonderful moment for the young man. Pushing forward very hard, looking for this point. And now that Ian Dunn has run forward, and he's played for it, and it's a goal. It's a typical Dunn goal. The Chesterfield defence standing absolutely stationary, waiting for the offside flag, which didn't come. The referee, Mr Peck, has rushed walked back to speak to his linesman. No, no offside. Normal duties. The ball is not forward here, it's done, this could be two, this could still be two, it's going in, it's gone in. Headed away by Warburton, oh Warburton, Hallowell, Hallowell wins the ball in the air to Dunn, Dunn fires with a good shot, a tremendous shot, handed, hand, pushed it right up in the air. To Warburton, Warburton heading it forward to Dunn, Dunn in possession, racing forward, obviously a fresh pair of legs have done, you don't know, no harm, and a lovely goal from Ian Dunn! Dunn's first goal of the season! Short, with just a quarter of an hour left, Naylor's pass sent John McCarthy scurrying away at full tilt. Watch for a dreadful bobble as he swings a leg. It confused most folk, but Ian Dunn kept his head, squeezed him. Lincoln, Ian Dunn gets the most important touch of the game.